Hi, this is Augustine. It's been a long time since my last Ask Augustine videos, but I'm really happy that I've partnered now with Tonebase to produce um, a number of new Ask Augustine um, episodes. And I'm really excited uh, to talk about a number of different topics. And the first one that I'll talk about today is how do you keep your left hand relaxed when you're playing a very, very fast piece with lots of fast, fast notes? This is a question I sometimes get uh, from students um, who are struggling with keeping the hand relaxed enough so that it doesn't get too tired that they can get through a piece that they're also not injuring themselves when they're practicing it for hours and hours. Now, of course, one aspect I should mention is that um, there's a certain amount of stamina that you build over time and endurance. So when, you're, uh, when you've played very different repertoire that didn't have such um, fast uh, playing for the left hand, and now you're switching to a piece that has that, like Moto Perpetuo, for example, something you know really relentless, then uh, you might have to start, start a bit slower, give your hand time to get used to it, take breaks when your hand is tired, and you'll find that over time you actually build endurance. Now, if I'm playing something like the middle section of Paganini Caprice number no. five, which is quite relentless, <laughs> and so on this um this piece just keeps going and going um and i find what helps me keep the hand relaxed enough um, are two things one is that i pay attention to the first and second finger that i don't lift them more than i absolutely have to this is something i used to do when i was younger because i also played the piano i kind of thought of it maybe the wrong way that I would always lift the finger after I play it and then put it back down. So I was really playing them all individually with the left hand. Uh, but really, uh, especially the first and second fingers, they can actually stay on the string if you're going to come back to them. So you can see that sometimes I, the first and second, I, I just leave there. And in general, I try to basically move them as little as possible. With the third and fourth fingers, what I think is helpful is uh, you have to realize that when you play very, very fast, you actually don't need to press down all the way onto the string. This is something you need to do when you play long notes to, have, to get a good sound, but uh, when you're playing very fast notes, sometimes um, pressing only halfway or just a little more than half, you have to find the right amount, can be enough to make the note speak. If the note doesn't speak, you didn't press hard enough, but, if, uh, but as long as it speaks, it's fine. You don't need to always press down, and this reduces tension enormously. So uh, with the third and fourth finger, I'm barely, I'm barely just, just touching the string, but I'm not really pressing down. And this prevents them from getting tired too quickly, because otherwise I would already be tired by the time I'm, I get to the double bar. Now there are some passages in this piece where you just can't avoid tensing up a bit that um, because things get so crazy just the motions you have to do the precision you need as you move fingers up and down uh, my least favorite passage is probably the one right after the double bar which... After that it's a little bit easier but basically the section before that and after that I try to keep the left hand more relaxed and then in the passage where it has to be more tense um, it's actually kind of a short passage and so this piece kind of goes in and out of places where it can be more relaxed and places where you need to tense up more. Towards the end of the piece it's normal that your hand gets a little bit tired, uh, tired but actually the very end you can also be quite relaxed because you're not only playing very fast but you're also quite up, up high. And actually, on these high notes, I find I, I, I just barely need to press at all on my violin. It can be very light, um, almost like a harmonic. Uh, it's a little more than a harmonic, but it's uh, very, very, just barely touching. And that helps also um, with this passage.
So I hope that this uh, is helpful as you try to keep your hand relaxed, even though you practice, even when you practice something very, very fast. See you next time.